The most impressive piece I have played on the piano, practicing for around an hour a day for two years, is either this... or this. With that out of the way, stick around and I'll play more of the pieces I learned during my first two years, while also discussing my previous musical experience, how I have learned to play, how much I practice, what I do when I practice, amongst other things. Let's go. I bought a Roland FP30 digital piano around Christmas in 2019. I started learning by myself using the Faber Adult Piano Adventures all-in-one book. Ten days later, inspired by the piano progress channels before me, I started uploading my finished pieces to YouTube. Although I had no prior experience playing the piano, I had played the guitar for several years as a teenager. This meant I already had a basic understanding of rhythm and rhythm notation when I started. After a few weeks learning from the Adult Piano Adventures book, I decided I should get a teacher to make sure I was doing things the right way. I was extremely fortunate because I found a former concert pianist who lived and taught locally. However, before my lessons were due to start, Covid struck and we were all confined to our homes. My lessons still took place, but rather than visit my teacher's house and play on her Steinway grand piano, I played my Roland and we talked over Skype. My teacher moved me away from the method book and instead assigned me pieces from a book called Classics to Moderns. This book has beginner pieces from the great classical composers, rather than beginner arrangements of their more famous works that you find in method books. My piano lessons surprised me. I thought they would be all about technique, whereas they are mainly about making the music sound its best and how to approach practicing or performing. These are things I may have eventually figured out on my own or discovered online. But having someone that can correct these things early has been an enormous benefit. My lessons last one hour and I have 30 a year in three 10 week terms. As the end of my first year learning to play the piano came to a close, I rewarded myself with a new instrument. I knew that playing the piano was something I was going to continue. I wanted a new digital piano that would be more permanent, feel more realistic and sound great. I purchased the Kawaii CA99 and I haven't looked back since. In my first year piano progress video, I claimed I was around a grade two level. I realize now that this was very optimistic. I wanted my progress to appear similar to the other piano YouTubers who had actually passed exams. In hindsight, I would say I was a strong grade one after one year and a strong grade two after two years. And if I can keep up a grade a year, I'll be very happy. I always knew learning to play the piano was going to be a long-term commitment. play on my piano for around one hour a day. I'm as consistent as I can be and I try to practice every day, even if it's just a little. But if life gets in the way and I can't practice one day, I don't let that bother me. I think an hour a day is a reasonable amount of time that most people could find without making major sacrifices. I structure my hour of practice as follows. Five to 10 minutes of sight reading practice. One Hanon exercise. Five to 10 minutes of scales or arpeggios. Then around 15 minutes for each of my pieces. I typically work on three pieces at a time, 
and try to have them at different stages of development. The pieces I work on typically take around 5 to 8 hours before I can perform them for this channel. Though some have only taken an hour and a half, and others up to 15 hours. To keep track of time and keep my practice organised, I use the app Fourscore on my iPad. I've been using this app for over a year now. It's the best £20 I've spent. It saves me so much time. Other than that, I'm not a big fan of piano apps. I find them a bit robotic. I do feel that towards the end of my second year, my piano progress stalled. I found that I had reached a point where I could put together a sloppy version of a piece quite quickly. But taking it past that level where I could perform it reasonably confidently at tempo without constantly making mistakes was a challenge. There were several pieces that I started and had to put aside to try again later. These were only grade 2 pieces, pieces well within my reach. Up until that point I had always managed to play the pieces I started, even if they took a while. Progress is not linear and there will be times when you struggle to move forward. This is something my piano teacher had warned me about when I first started taking lessons. I took a two week break over Christmas and New Year where I didn't touch my piano at all. This did a lot of good and now as I start playing again I can feel my motivation has increased. I even picked up one of the pieces I dropped and immediately it felt easier. Despite my second year ending on a bit of a downer, when I look back I did cover a lot of material. During my second year I learned 26 pieces, not including two that I relearned. That's a new piece every couple of weeks. As I start my third year playing the piano, I've already completed my first grade 3 piece. And my teacher is assigning me more challenging pieces all the time. The pieces at this level are starting to sound more impressive and less like beginner music. I'm looking forward to the year ahead and hope to reach a grade 3 level by the end of the year. Seeing as you've made it this far, I think you'll also really like this video right here. Go on, tap it. It's a good one. It really is. I don't know which one it is. <laughs>